now let's see about an algorithm to find factorial of a given number using recursion as well as iteration that means non recursive and analyze the performance of the algorithm by using with time complexity and space complexity so first let's see the iterative approach iterative approach iterative approach means non recursive approach so we need to find the algorithm we need to write the algorithm as well as find the time complexity and the space complexity so first let us write the algorithm so algorithm name of the algorithm is factorial factorial of let we have a parameter called n next within the curly braces here uh, uh, we need to declare a variable f the value of the the initial value of the f is 1 here while declaring the variables there is no need to use any data types in algorithm so here also there is no need to declare this variable just to do the initialization and here the value will starts from 1 for i is equal to 1 to here the initialization means we have to use colon equal to operator to n do so this is nothing but pseudo code convention for writing the algorithm okay so in da we will follow this notation only so what is the formula f is equal to f into i for is equal to use colon equal to symbol okay next we have to return this f value or print f value it is your choice so return f or in place of return you can use write also or print also return f or write f it is your choice okay next to close the algorithm okay and uh, now we have to find the time complexity as well as the space complexity here uh, i am using the frequency count approach for initialization one step count is required next how many times here this condition will be evaluated let n value is 5 then 1 less than or equal to 5 2 less than or equal to 5 3 4 5 next when i is equal to 6 the condition will become false so that means two conditions n plus false condition false condition will be evaluated for one time so n plus 1 so here we have to take care about this false condition also so then the body of the for loop will be executed for how many times n times only so when the condition is true then only the body will be executed okay next this written statement it will be executed for one times one time so if we add the numbers n plus n 2n 2n plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 so here we can say that uh, in iterative approach uh, for space uh, this is iterative approach uh, for space constraints i am erasing this portion uh, so this is iterative approach iterative means non recursive and the second approach is recursive approach so during iterative approach what is the time complexity 2n plus 3 so while calculating the time complexity we have to consider only higher order exponent so here we have n power 1 here 3 means 3 into n power 0 so out of 1 and 0 so 1 is higher order 1 and while calculating the time complexity ignore the constant multiplier so the time complexity here is order of n order of n now let us find out the space complexity let us find out the space complexity so here i am writing s of p equal to c plus sp so here what is c c means constant part so what is c constant part so what is constant part it doesn't depends upon any other variables if you see here in this program we have f f doesn't depends upon any other variable next we have i i doesn't depends upon any other variable next n so we have three variables so f i and n in order to store those three variables uh, three memory words three memory words are three time units three time units are required so this three is nothing but a constant number a constant number so we can say that the space complexity the space complexity here is constant means order of 1 1 1 so order of 1 is the space complexity in iterative approach that is non recursive whereas the space complexity of iterative factorial algorithm is 
order of one. Why? Because we have only constant part variables. We don't have any variable part variables. Here the time complex space complexity formula is constant part plus variable part. This is variable part. Variable part means it depends upon some other variables. So when we have the arrays, the array, the array depends upon the size. But if you see here, here we here what is the algorithm? So here if you see here iterative approach, all are normal variables only. In iterative approach, all are normal variables only. We don't have any arrays. So that's why here constant part means three time units, variable part means zero time units. Three plus zero means three. Three is nothing but a constant number. So order of one is the space complexity. So let us write the recursive factorial algorithm as well as analyze its time complexity as well as space complexity. So first let us write the algorithm. Let us write the algorithm. Recursive algorithm. So what is the previous algorithm? Previous algorithm is iterative algorithm, non-recursive. So here iterative means we use just looping statements. Whereas this is recursive algorithm. Recursive means we use just conditional statements like if else, likewise. Next here what is the logic? If n is equal to zero, this is algorithm. So there is no need to use double is equal to. If yeah in in algorithm for equality operator for relational operator. We use is equal to operator. Okay, so colon equal to means assignment operator. But here we are doing the comparison n double equal to zero. For comparison here we use only is equal to operator only. Next R for logical operator in algorithm we use as R R board. N is equal to one. So this is relational operator. Then, then, then what is the result? The value of zero factorial or one factorial is one. So return one. So we need to return one. Else, else the logic is written, written n into n into n into. Oh, here, what is the function? N into factorial of n minus one. So this is the in this way we we will write the algorithm. Okay. If this is relational operator is equal to operator or n is equal to one, then written one. Else written n into factorial of n minus one. So first let us calculate the space complexity, and then we will see the time complexity. So what is the space complexity? Let us see the space complexity. Here the logic is very very simple. If we call factorial of phi, then what will happen? What is the logic? Phi into factorial of phi minus one. What is the logic here? Phi is equal to zero. Phi is equal to one. Both conditions are false. So else block will be executed. Phi into factor four. So factor four will be called. So next n value will becomes four. Next four is equal to zero or four equal to one. Both conditions are false. So this else block will be executed. So in turn what will happen? Factor of three will be called. Next factor of two. Next factor of one. So here what will happen is here the maximum depth of recursion is n. Maximum depth of recursion is n. That that means if n value is phi, then totally five functions will be called. Fact of phi, fact of four, fact of three, fact of two, fact of one, likewise. Suppose if n value is three, then three, two, one, zero, likewise. Likewise, the functions will be called. So we can say that the space complexity of recursive algorithm, recursive factorial algorithm, is order of n. Why? Because if n value is five, we are calling five functions. So depth of re that recursion is five. So we can say that the space complexity of the recursive algorithm is order of n, whereas iterative algorithm is order of one. So why here the space complexity is order of n? Why? Because n n minus one function calls are needed. If n minus one also, then we need to consider n only. Why? Because the maximum exponent is one, so we will consider n only. We don't consider n power zero, so the space complexity here is order of n. Why? Because here the depth of the recursion is what n. Okay. Now let us analyze about time complexity. Okay. First we have to write the recurrence relation. First let us write the recurrence relation. After that we will calculate the time complexity. So here t of n equal to. Let us write the recurrence relation. T of n equal to. T of n equal to. If n is equal to zero or one, if n is equal to zero or one, then what is the result? One is the result. 
so the result is 1 when if n is equal to 0 or 1 else that means if n greater than 1 then what is the result so how many function calls are required here here t of n represents the time complexity for the input size n so in order to calculate the time complexity for this factorial of n function we require t of n time complexity for input size n here we are calling which function factorial of n minus 1 so for calculating factorial of n t of n is the time complexity whereas for calculating factorial of n minus 1 what is the time complexity t of n minus 1 plus how many comparisons are needed here here we require one comparison if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1 so one comparison is required in if whereas in else we require one multiplication one multiplication n into factorial of n minus 1 so we here we require for each function call we require one comparison and one multiplication so this is one comparison if this condition is true then it will be executed otherwise this will be executed so one one comparison and one multiplication so two two are required so that is nothing but a constant number so we can write this as t of n equal to t of n minus 1 plus c so t of n minus 1 for this factorial of n minus 1 function call c for this comparison as well as this multiplication so now we have to solve this one this recurrence relation so what is the recurrence relation now t of n equal to t of n minus 1 plus c t of n equal to t of n equal to t of n minus 1 plus c so then what is t of n minus 1 so let, let us assume that this is equation number 1 so what is t of n minus 1 in place of n we have to substitute n minus 1 so t of in place of n substitute n minus 1 n minus 1 additionally we have minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus here we are deriving the equation for t of n minus 1 so there is no change in the constant so keep it as same only so here what we are doing here this is t of n we are deriving the formula for t of n minus 1 in place of n substitute n minus 1 so t of in place of n we are substituting n minus 1 is equal to in place of n we are substituting n minus 1 n minus 1 additionally we have minus 1 there is no change in the constant keep it as same only so 2 let us assume that this is equation number 2 now what is t of n minus 2 in place of this n we have to substitute n minus 2 so t of in place of this n substitute n minus 2 t of n minus 2 additionally we have minus 1 plus constant so there is no change in the constant keep it as same only so based on t of n we have computed t of n minus 1 and t of n minus 2 so now substitute t of n minus 1 and t of n minus 2 equations in the first formula what is equation y? What is equation 1? T of n equal to T of n minus 1 plus c. What is T of n? T of n minus 1 plus c. So T of n equal to What is T of n minus 1? Already we computed. T of n minus minus 1 minus 1 means minus 2. So here we are substituting T of n minus 1. So what is T of n minus 1? T of n minus 2. What is T of n minus 1? Plus c. Additionally we have one more c. So let us write that c. So c plus c is nothing but 2c. Now t of n equal to t of what is t of n minus 2? Already we computed. t of what is t of n minus 2? t of n minus 2 minus 1 means n minus 3 plus here we have c. Here additionally we have 2 c's. So 2 c. So if you see here what is t of n? t of n minus 1 c plus c next next what is the next one t of n minus 2 plus c plus c that is nothing but 2c next what is the next one t of n minus 3 plus c plus 2c that is nothing but 3c so c 2c 3c so on what is the kth term last term what is the last term t of n equal to t of first we have n minus 1 1c next to t of n minus 2 so here we have 2 at the right hand side so 2c 
next e of n minus 3 here we have 3 so that's why we have 3c so we can say that this is nothing but t of n minus k plus kc n minus 1 1c n minus 2 2c n minus 3 3c likewise okay now uh, for space constraints i am erasing this portion okay here what is the result here here we have in the problem we have n is equal to 0 in the problem we have n is equal to 0 if n is equal to 0 then what is the time complexity one is the time complexity so that means here t of 0 is given so this is nothing but n is equal to 0 means t of 0 what is t of 0 value 1 so that's why we have to assume assume n minus k as 0 so why we are assuming n minus k as 0 why because here t of 0 is given what is t of 0 factorial of 0 what is factorial of 0 1 instead of uh, this 0 if we consider 1 also we will get the same result t of 1 as 0 then we will get the same result there is no problem but for simply purpose we are assuming it as n is equal to 0 that means factorial of 0 so that means n is equal to 0 means t of 0 so that's why here we are assuming n minus k as that 0 t of 0 n minus k as 0 then what is n n is equal to k if we move k to the right hand side n is equal to k or k equal to n both are same only here we have that k theorem what is k theorem t of n is equal to t of n minus k plus k into c t of n equal to t of n minus k plus k into c okay let us erase this portion so t of what is n minus k n minus k is nothing but 0 what is n minus k 0 t of 0 plus what is k n is equal to k means k is equal to n so n into c what is t of 0 what is t of 0 what is t of 0 value 1 so 1 plus n into c so here what is the constant what is the exponent n power 1 here n power 0 so 1 means 1 into n power 0 so which is higher order exponent n power 1 so what is the time complexity here order of n order of n here there is no need to focus on constant multiplier constant means order of 1 only so between order of n and order of 1 order of n is higher 1 so here what is the time complexity of the recursive factorial algorithm order of n so this is very very important